Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is the guide on benchmarking and tweaking and monitoring utilities. Most of the ones we're focused on today are free, so you can use them on your system. Let's start with the CPU. CPU Z or CPU Z, however you prefer to pronounce that letter, by CPU ID is an extremely popular tool for looking at your CPU stats. It gives you a ton of information about the processor itself, everything from the brand to the family to the clock speed to the instruction sets it supports, as well as the voltage it's running at, and gives you a little bit of rudimentary information on the motherboard, RAM, and graphics as well. CPU-Z is mostly used by me for things like finding out, well, okay, is Intel Turbo Boost working? Um, am I thermal throttling? You can, you can monitor in real time what actual speed your CPU is running at. Real Temp is a great tool for Intel, again for the CPU, but this time, as you may or may not have figured out, for finding out the real temperature that it's running at. Instead of relying on a, you know, diode on the motherboard that's far away from the CPU and like some kind of, you know, corrective measure that goes along with that, it actually pulls the temperature directly off the CPU. The only disadvantage is it only works on Intel processors. Core Temp works on Intel, AMD, and VIA processors, and so it gives you a little bit more compatibility, but I've personally found it to be, well, it's a bit of an older tool and it's a little bit less well regarded these days, but it's always changing. These tools are going in and out of fashion all the time. For the GPU, well, the fashion hasn't changed much recently. There's a ton of different, gra different graphics card hardware monitors and tweaking tools, EBGA Precision, and ASUS has their... Uh, can't remember what it's called, but everyone has one. By and large, the most popular one seems to be MSI Afterburner. The thing is that they're all based on Rivetuner. They're all based on the same underlying framework, but it's just a matter of who has the most appealing skin and the easiest UI for interfacing with that framework. So it can tell you all kinds of things like your GPU temperatures, GPU load, the clock speeds they're running at, your fan speeds, as well as allowing you to tweak a bunch of cool stuff as well. GPU-Z gives you a bit of different information about your GPU, more like CPU-Z, but for your graphics card. So it tells you like, you know, the process node it was manufactured on, the code name of the core, um, the clock speed it's running at, all that kind of cool stuff, but I mean, contrary to what you might think, it's not actually made by the same folks. Very useful tool as well. GPU Shark is another simple, lightweight GPU monitor. For RAM, there's not as many options out there. There's Free RAM XP Pro, which allows you to free up RAM. Um, with, you can see what's running. Memory monitor, monitors performance, and really what I usually use is the RAM usage monitor and the task manager and the resource monitor built into Windows. I don't find myself usually needing a third-party tool for RAM, and a lot of the third-party tools for RAM end up being kind of bloatware or, you know, you know, hey, pay us a little bit more and we'll uh, make your RAM even more faster. Uh, it generally doesn't make that much of a difference. The best way to optimize your RAM is if you're using too much of it according to Task Manager, put in some more and then you'll probably be fine. For storage, Crystal Disk Info is a monitoring program for basically just seeing information about the disks in your system. Crystal Disk Mark is a very popular sort of quick and dirty disk benchmark. It's hard to say how much usefulness it has because it doesn't tell you too much about the real world performance, but particularly for speed freaks who are running a bunch of SSDs in RAID 0, uh, utilities like Crystal Disk Mark and Addo are are quick and dirty ways to find out, okay, well, is that, does that setting I just changed, does it positively or negatively impact it before you run a more uh, time-consuming benchmark? HD Sentinel has options for telling you when your hard drive is about to fail using Smart. Smart is great. Most drives support it, most uh, systems support it, and if you're not using it, then you're not taking advantage of functionality that's just there and it's free and you might as well do it anyway. For the power supply, there aren't a ton of options either. If you're using something like a Corsair AXI series power supply, you can use their Link software to see all kinds of great stuff, like the efficiency it's running at, temperature, fan control, all that cool kind of cool stuff, but most power supplies, beyond using something like a kilowatt and an electric, electricity usage monitor, it's plugged into the wall, there's not a whole lot that you can do to monitor your power supply. I mean, you can check out online power supply calculators if you don't have the piece of hardware for finding out how much power you're consuming, but generally speaking, I found those to be extremely inaccurate. Now, finally, we've got some of the system info and all-in-one tools. So hardware info is full-featured software with a graphical interface. Lists info has won a bunch of awards from Softpedia, CNET, and all that kind of cool stuff. It's a more user-friendly, basic system info, a little bit beyond 
beyond what's in the standard Windows system info. Um, so that seems to be one of the favorites out there. Some people who don't mind actually paying for software might pick up IDA64. I personally love IDA64. It's unfortunately not free, like I said, but it gives you all the information you could want about your system and has some really effective built-in benchmarking tools as well. One more benchmarking tool that isn't on our notes, but that I do want to mention is ASUS's new ROG benchmarking tool. Um, that is something that's very much in development. V2.0 is in alpha for right now, I have a link to it and it's actually kind of cool. It's completely open source. All the benchmarks are you know, non-ASUS biased, non-ASUS developed. They're just bringing it all together into a nice clean GUI and it's, it looks very, very compelling. So I think that pretty much wraps this episode up guys. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.